Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we have a fiery core flow, so expect to get that Udi Bunda engaged, that fire center activated, all of the above. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you on your mat. <laughs> We're gonna meet right away in tabletop. So just for a second, let's find a neutral spine. If you have bundas in your practice, lock the pelvic floor together, squeeze that root bunda. Squeeze the Udi on the bunda, the navel comes to the spine, you're drawing in the lower stomach, and then drop the chin down to the chest slightly, engaging that third throat bunda. One full exhale here, starting that Ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, let's drop the belly button, reach the chin up. And as you exhale, let's curl the back, broaden the rhomboids, push the back to the ceiling. And let's do one more round of that cat cow, inhaling. Open up the heart, pulling it forward, and then exhaling, rounding the back. And then inhale, come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna curl in the toes, pick up the knees. So the knees are just hovering slightly, about two to three inches above the ground. And here we're gonna do two more rounds of cat-cow. So on your inhale, drop the belly button, reach the chin up. And then exhale, curl round the back, engage the lower tummy. One more, inhaling, open up. Exhaling, rounding. Inhaling, let's drop up one more time, look up. And as you exhale, hips back down dog. Pedal out the feet, one breath, just shaking the hips. Maybe feeling above those hip points, the lower hanging ribs, just feeling the abs get a little warm. Let's find one more exhale here, full exhale. As you inhale, let's roll into a plank. We're gonna pause. So just find your breath. Make sure you're not sagging down into the chest. So we're opening up the rhomboids. We're giving a little external rotation to the arms. So we're engaging those serratus anteriors. Feeling strong here. On your next inhale, let's lift up the right foot. Pause here, find some engagement through the midline. Maybe you pick up the left hand. Reach it out. Maybe we find a breath here. Keep your strength in your core. On your next exhale, left hand comes down, right foot comes down. Inhale, left foot up. Pause. Feel the midline connection. Whenever you're ready, right hand gets light. Maybe you reach the right hand forward. Lengthening through the body. You're, con you're squeezed, but you're also long. Exhale, right hand comes down, left foot comes down. Pause here, just breathe. Maybe find an inhale, you drop the hips down, reach the chest up, and then exhale down dog. Find two breaths, pedal out the feet, do whatever you need here. It's gonna get harder every time. It's just kind of warming up the body. And on your next inhale, roll into your plank one more time. This time, exhale, bend the knees, so you're in that tabletop position, but this time, your knees are hovering and your feet are flat. Challenge yourself here. Two rounds of cat-cow. Inhales, you open up, and exhales, you round. It's tough. Inhale, open up. Heart opens forward. Exhale, round. One last inhale. And then exhale, down dog. Wonderful. Find a couple breaths. Feeling the heat in your arms. Maybe you find a still down dog for a breath. Getting the hips away from the hands, long spine. On your next inhale, let's bring the right foot up all the way. As you exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale up all the way. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back up, reach long. Exhale, knee to left elbow, hold. So pausing here, don't fall into your chest. Keep the rhomboids open. If you want to, let's breathe and move here. Exhale, drop your knee down to the right. Inhale up to the left. Exhale down to the right. Inhale up to the left. One more, exhale down to the right. Inhale up to the left. 
and then exhale, straighten out the right leg, drop it down. Inhale, lift up the left hand, wild thing. So we're breathing here, opening up. Find space in that left side body. Reaching, looking at that left arm. One more inhale. As you exhale, come back into your chaturanga. Maybe a one-legged chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling down dog. Inhale, left foot comes up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, send it all the way back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Hold. We're going to move again. Find an inhale. Exhale, knee goes down to the left. Inhale up to the right. Exhale down to the left. Inhale up to the right. One more. Exhale down to the left. Inhale up to the right. Nice. Exhale, you straighten that foot down, drop it down. Inhale, the right hand comes up. Wild thing. Reaching with that right hand. Getting a long side body. Use that heat in the core. You got built up. Open up. Steady breath here. Being strong through that left arm. Externally rotating it. One more inhale. As you exhale, right hand comes down. Chaturanga one-legged. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Just two breaths. Shaking it out if you need to. So we're going to give our shoulders some break here. We're really going to step into the core now. We've got heat built up. If you want your blocks under your hand, it's a great option. We're going to do some jump throughs. We're going to do three total. If you need the blocks under your hands, give you that four extra inches, feel free to bring them under. And whenever you're ready, we're going to hop all the way through. Coming into boat pose. So maybe you need the blocks. Maybe you don't. We come right away into boat pose. So pull in, the pelvic floor squeezes, the lower stomach pulls back. Lift up the heart from there. Breathing, everyone loves bow pose. Let's lower down onto the sacrum. You're sending the toes forward. Just breathe and smile. Maybe bring the hands above the head. We're gonna find two breaths here. Reach the hands above the head. Point the toes, reach the toes away from the hands. One more inhale. As you exhale, curl back in, cross your legs. Hands come onto the block or the ground. As you inhale, you pick up the body. As you exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. And exhale, pull with the lower stomach down dog. Find a couple breaths. Lengthening your spine, finding some space. Maybe swaying hip left and right. Just letting the obliques kind of warm up, loosen up. And whenever you're ready, on your next exhale, we're jumping all the way through. Curl in at the hips. Squeeze under. Sitting down, boat pose. Squeezing knees slightly together without thickening the hip creases. Lifting from the heart. Breathing. Maybe straighten the leg on this one. Yeah, if you're shaking, that's good. Slowly lower down onto the sacrum. Breathing here. Don't compromise your breath. Never. Lift the hands up over the head. Two breaths. Breathing. Staying strong. One more inhale. As you exhale, curl back in. Cross the feet. Hands come to the ground or blocks. Inhale, pick up the body. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling down dog. Wonderful. Two breaths. Shake it out if you need to. We're going to do one last jump through. So just doing the best you can. If you want to hit a handstand on your way through, feel free to do so. I know I am. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, on your next exhale, jumping up and through. Coming into boat pose whenever you're ready. So you're engaged the whole time. Squeezing pelvic floor together, pulling lower stomach back, lifting heart up. Doing the best you can here. We're almost done. Straighten out the legs. Lower down to your sacrum. 
Can we find five breaths here? Reaching hands over top. Ask yourself, just tapping into that reserve that you know you have, doing a little bit more here. One more breath. On your next exhale, pull in one last time. Inhale, we're just picking up the body. Stay here, maybe. If you can't straighten out your legs, ah, drop down. Lie on your back. Hug your knees into your heart. Find a breath to yourself. Just shaking left and right. Maybe coming into happy baby for a couple breaths. Rocking left and right. And maybe bring your feet down and let your knees drop to the left. Look to the right for a big breath. And come to the center and drop to the right. Look to your left for a big breath. And then back to the center, maybe hugging your legs one more time. And maybe coming into a javasana or going about your day, either or. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope this 10 minute flow gave you that fire energy to start your day off or end your day off on the right note. And until next time, namaste.